Hello and what is up? This is Alpha Falafel here, and welcome to the Game Nights. We are doing a Let's Play of the original The Legend of Zelda, the very first one. Now, if you can see from the screen, it says 1986 to 2003. That's because we are playing uh, as a downloadable uh, kind of version on the Wii. I had downloaded this back in high school. And uh, I, even though uh, I know Spoofy here from the channel, he has the original on the NES, but I'm a little sensitive about it bucking out halfway through and then losing everything. So <laughs> if you've ever seen our Kid Cool playthrough, it's all getting all glitchy. Uh, no, we're gonna, we're gonna play it on this one since it's a little bit more reliable. We are gonna be doing a complete uh, Legend of Zelda NES walkthrough. Let's just start from the beginning. We're gonna go ahead and do an elimination mode. We're gonna delete both of these ones. And we're going to start just a new one. We're going to go to we'll just be on original and do link. Fresh file. Now, kind of a cool thing, when I say we're going to do a full walkthrough here, and uh, we're going to 100% the game, we're going to get everything, but it means we're also going to play it twice, because there's the first mode, and then there's a new game plus mode. So we're going to do it uh, standardly here the first time, and then uh, we're going to play through it again. But... If you didn't know this, you can type in Zelda as your name, and you will start off on the second quest. So right away here, this is our first introduction to the Legend of Zelda world, back in like 1986, right? I thought it was 1985, but I guess at least from here it's in 1986. So uh, you start off with no real explanation of what's going on, just a, a green dude walking around with a little shield. Let's go in here. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. My old derpy base. But now we got ourselves a cool sword. We can shoot at different directions. It's kind of neat. Now with these old NES games, they usually came with a little booklet. And that little information booklet guide would give you things like the names of the different enemies. It would kind of give you a backstory. And I remember reading that booklet as a kid. And the artwork on that booklet, if you've ever seen that, is actually pretty well done. Uh, it's actually a pretty good, like, kind of, not quite comic book, but it's a, the artwork is, is actually well done, and it kind of has its own little style. Lots of, uh, we're getting a few rupees, a couple of hard things here. Now, if you've never played this game, it's actually pretty challenging at times. Enemies go pretty fast. They shoot stuff at you. Zora over there shooting fireballs, which suck because you can't block those. Okay, so at least we made it this far. We're going into the first uh, dungeon or temple or palace with full health. Whew. So this is the first dungeon. Uh, now, good thing for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you call this a dungeon, a palace, a temple. Uh, what is it that you call it? Because I think in this first game, I want to say that it's technically dungeons in this first game. But I think the second game calls them temples or palaces. I think palaces in the second game. But I think a lot of people like uh, in Ocarina of Time, I think it's just like the water temple and the fire temple. But this I'm pretty sure it's called a dungeon. Huh? I'm not entirely confident on that. I could be making that up. But I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. <laughs> so we just got introduced to a few different enemies, bats and skeletons. And you notice how when I killed all the bats, a key approved up here. So killing enemies in a, in a zone here does sometimes reveal an item, which is important. A lot of these enemies have taken two hits to kill. Because right now we just got the wooden sword. Hopefully we'll be able to upgrade that here soon enough. That money. Money, money. So this game has a very special uh, place in my heart. Because when I was a kid, my father would play it. Yeah, I was I was too young. I was like, you know, five, six, and the game was just way too difficult. You'd die all the time. You didn't know what was going on. 
So I would sit next to my father in the basement and he would play the game and I watched him play through the entire thing. Uh, at least through the first, the first, I, I remember him playing through the first quest, I don't remember him playing through the second quest. But it was a, kind of one of those bonding moments where I just loved video games and the music, the certainly the music, but uh, just how, how the game was really stuck with me and of course as you grow up and then you start playing it yourself and actually figuring it out. So this is our first like real secret in the game. The eastmost peninsula is a secret. It says right there, it's a secret. This is kind of funny with these guys, you got the old man, if you want you can stab him and then he starts shooting the fireballs at you. Because Link's a dick. <laughs> And of course the game has these secret things. So the door was locked until you push on this little block there. But you can push it any direction. More puppy things. I don't like these little jelly beans. They move kind of awkwardly, sometimes fast, sometimes slow. We got our map. So on the top left you can see the map there, and I'll hit the pause screen. We have a yellow map, which is us drawing it. That's what where we've been. And then the bottom left, we have more of an overall map, like a world map of this dungeon. And it's kind of the shape of an eagle or a bird, which is kind of cool. And a couple of the levels, especially here in the first quest, are designed to look like special shapes. And uh, <laughs> it'll be kind of funny uh, when we get to the third world. We'll talk about that in the third dungeon. So maybe a little controversial for some people, but... That baseline. The music in this is fantastic. You know, you only get a couple of songs, but they, they were well done, especially for 8 bit. And then I loved listening to the music done. Hey, you got our first set of bombs. When bombs drop in this game, you get a stack of four. And they are very useful. Especially on the world map. But I love listening to the music as like a symphony or orchestra. If you go on YouTube and type in anything Legend of Zelda, symphony, orchestra. Uh, there's lots of them out there because like high schools will do it and uh, obviously professional uh, musicians will do it. You know, complete orchestras. It's just, it's amazing music. We got the bow and arrow, or just the bow. Technically, we didn't get the arrows yet. It's always kind of funny that they give you the bow in the first dungeon and then they don't even... They don't even give you anything to shoot it with. So when you're first playing it, you're like, what is this thing? I can't do anything with it. But we got our first... the first item. Yeah! And we're getting a nice stack of keys that we're using up. Right now I'm pretty lucky I've not been hit yet, so I can still shoot my sword from a distance. It makes it a lot easier. Ooh. It's our first clock. Stopwatch. So the stopwatch that we got will freeze all the enemies and it actually makes you invisible so I can walk through the guy. It's pretty amazing. Not all the time, there's sometimes you don't want to get it, but. And we got this item. The last guy we killed dropped his boomerang. It's a standard boomerang, so it only goes like halfway across the screen. But we'll eventually get a new one, right? That's that's the stopwatch. We don't want to get it. I do want that one. I want rupees. So you can hear it already. The monster, the the monster in the temple, like growls uh, if you're close to it. So we can hear him in the next room. And yes, we are kind of gonna have it easy because we are able to shoot our weapon. Look how easy this is. If you don't have, if you've been hit, then you can't shoot your weapon, and it's a lot more difficult to get that to kill that guy. No. 
I'll point out, I just picked up the heart piece that was dropped there, heart container, and it landed right there, uh, and you can't get around it. So there's no way to beat this game with a three heart challenge. You know, where you play through the entire game without getting a single heart container, you just start with the three and you do the whole game. I'll do that on Twilight Princess, but of course I can't do it here. So we got our first Triforce piece down, first temple done, or first dungeon done. Now we had that old man give us a clue that eastmost peninsula is the secret, so why don't we go figure that out? Let's go east. Nice. We're just rolling in the fives right now. That's that's good. Ooh. I'm not gonna bother with these guys. The blue guys take four hits right now with the wooden sword. At least the red guys only two. Oh, I got that guy too, even though I didn't drop it. I don't like these guys. They jump around real weird. One eyed spiders. Now, there is a secret here, and I don't remember, I'll be honest, I don't remember everything about this game. There's a few things I remember. One of them is that there is a bomb place somewhere here. So I kind of put it in the middle because I wasn't sure if it was this left or right one. Take anyone you want, of course. We're going to take the heart container. I feel bad for anybody who takes the potion because it's just a waste. You just lost that heart container. Ah, so we got hit. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Zora. Let's do this because I know since we have a bomb. So again, it's really tough to know. If you've never played this game, you don't know where things are hidden. They don't give you any hint that there's a crack in the wall or anything like that in future games. You just kind of have to have played it and memorized it or just trial and error. It's a secret to everybody. I got 30 more rupees. Now, sometimes when you blow up walls like that, you'll get people who give you stuff like that dude gave us 30 rupees. Uh, sometimes... <laughs> oh, that was bad. Ooh, heart. Give me the heart. Yeah. Sometimes you will get a guy that says, hey, you have to pay me for the door repair because you just broke my door down. Show this to the old woman. We got some toilet paper. Some scribbles on Can't avoid that one. Stop hitting me, people. Stop it. Look at that. Look how much I'm getting beat up here just because of that one spot. Mostly because of the Zora. Stop it, Zora. Yee. I was hoping for a heartbeat. <laughs> Look at that! It is a complete... That's the secret of the Eastmost Peninsula. Look at this thing. There's no hint there. There's just an invisible wall that you can walk upward. And it's another secret to everybody. A hundred rupees! That's the, that's the big thing, is that you want to, you get a hundred rupees right away. Now your wallet size in the first Zelda here is 255. And... I'll just mention, down there is nothing but a money-making game, like a gambling game, and there's like no reason for us to do that. Don't want to risk our money, our hard-earned rupees. But yeah, our wallet size max is 255, and we want to get to 250. Ooh, nice. See, that's when the the stopwatch is really friendly. Let's do this. Give me that. Touch these guys because the statue turns alive. 
Give me heart piece. Bought some stairs. Where we get more money? See, we're just crushing to get to that 250. Okay, more bombs. That's great. This broke the needle. Again, all these enemies have names. I have no idea. Usually, this call them arrow dudes, spiky things, all this stuff. You know. Let's say these guys are. Double one up here. Just need to single them out. Ah, there we go. When they stand together like that, you can freeze them both at the same time. A lot more hearts. I don't think the statues drop it. Worth a try. Another secret. You get 10 rubies. We're already at 242. That's insane how fast we stacked up all that. All that money. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't wanna die. Lots of enemies. Safe using the boomerang. Yeet. So that way we can freeze them, stun them, hit them, stun them, hit them, stun them, hit them. Wow, 249 already. I'm just gonna keep moving fast. Here's another spot. I remember there's something here. It's either on this one or it's on the next quest, but. Worth for it to try, we have some mods. Ooh, heart pieces and a fairy! Again, I don't know exactly where it's at, but it's where it's money, so we're gonna put it right in the middle. There we go. It could be somebody who's gonna take our rupees away because it knocked out his door. Yes, it was a heart container. Yeah, this game is just awesome. This is so much, this is such a sweet game. This is kind of, I don't want to, yeah, right now. I was like, I don't want to take the risk and lose my, all my hearts, or I uh, get hit. Well, we're maxed on money now, so I'm just gonna keep going. Wow. So yeah, we already maxed out our rupees. So now we are just heading to go purchase, make the big purchase. Great purchase. Now again, it doesn't even help. They even pick up that, nothing happens. There's no way to get a bigger wallet in this game. So. From here, we just need to go get the one item that costs 250 rupees, which will make the game, uh, like, infinitely easier here in the beginning. Oh, didn't think I was going to that. There we go. I was hoping for that. Give me a heartbeat. They've got to be defending something. They're so tough. Just gonna hit this 
guy. No, they don't. Okay, we keep stunning him. That's a great thing, you hit that guy and you stun him at the same time. Boy, this is really expansive. Well, what we have here is meat for 60, which is good to remember because it's kind of cheap for meat. Uh, you have a key for 80 in case you need an extra key, and then this blue ring for 250. So, in case you don't know, the blue ring is going to increase our defense. Uh, it's going to double it. So now we uh, take two hits from weak enemies instead of one, and we only lose, uh, we either don't, it takes two hits to lose a half a heart piece. So, hey, another fighter. So that's great. I mean, that's going to really help us out for defense. I just like looking in the shop to see where the prices are at. 130 for a big, uh, for a big, big shield, which we'll eventually have to get. 80 for arrows. Now, if you remember, uh, we are going to need arrows at some point. Not for a while. The arrows work strangely in this game, where again you got. We, we already got the, uh, oh, here, here's this. There's the old woman, right? Remember how it said that I, uh, we had this, the note to give to the old woman? Buy medicine before you go. I don't have any rupees to buy your medicine, and we don't need it right now. But again, what I'm saying about the arrows, arrows are strange in this game because they give you the bow, but you can't use it until you buy the arrows. And it, it, once you buy the arrows, then you don't get, like, arrows as a drop. It's not like an item that you need to stock up. You just, when you fire an arrow, you lose rupees. And then we have 60 for a blue candle. It's 160 for uh, a shield from that shop. No. So we just got hit, but already our uh, ring is paying off because we didn't lose anything from it. Sniped. Pick that one up. Ooh. Hey, another one. Now we're going to go to the second temple, which we were right by earlier. Again, temple, dungeon, palace. Yeah, I always need money. Makes the world a lot easier. Uh, this is it. It's further to the right. Someone will give me heart. Hey, more bombs. We're gonna need that. This next temple is like the temple of bombs. What? I was really confused by that. Uh, I wasn't pressing anything. Maybe I was catching my boomerang and so he moved his shield to the side and got hit. There we go. That was nice. Freeze everybody and then pick up a heart. More bombs. So, first enemy time. First time we see the snake as an enemy. Or the, and we got a key from that. The snakes, uh, they move slow, they're pretty easy to kill, but then if they appear in the line of sight, they will sprint at you. Which is not a real big deal. But. Now here in the second temple, this is our chance to get like a head on keys. Because there's several doors in here that you're gonna pick up keys and you could use the keys to go into rooms, but you don't have to. 
And that's kind of why this is like the bomb, the level of the bomb, so... If you know where to put the bombs, you can basically net plus keys to use for other temples. Which you really don't need, because the game, especially here on the first quest, gives you enough keys. Like in every temple, there's enough keys to open all the doors. Ooh. Wow, that was... Hey, look at that! that was, uh, you don't see that very often in this game, but I was able to... Uh, hit, like, the leader. And when you hit the leader, uh, they the rest of them on the screen die. So that was kind of cool. And again, my max bombs is 8 right now, so... When he dropped a bomb, I went to go just test out that wall. See how many keys we have already? It's nuts. This is an important one. Ooh. Cheesing a little bit here. Fireball really sucks. Haha, we got it. Magic boomerang. That's the one that we really needed. Didn't need to put that bomb there, but figured might as well. We got our map. This is what I said, like, we could have used that, the key there to that door to get in here. But why do that when you can just use bombs and save the key? We'll do one more. More puppies. Now, these little puppy things, you can kill them with a boomerang. It really doesn't require the, the sword. Jelly beans. I'm noticing something strange. I've never had this happen before, but uh, the game, even though I'm playing it on, like, the Nintendo Wii, it's still kind of hiccuping. Every once in a while, like, it's dropping a frame, and I don't know why that is. I think I can bomb it up again, but I'm going to hold off, because I think that next room ahead of us might might have a door to go in there, maybe. This guy might drop some hearts or something for us. Add the little screen in there when you kill a part of it. Exactly what I wanted. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, we've gone in every room so far. That one's locked. So yeah, we're gonna go back and use bombs on that. Let's do that. There's one rupee we left behind. The Dongo dislikes smoke. Kind of like uh, Confucius jokes, right? He who laughs last did not get a joke. <laughs> oh boy. Aw, oh, I almost got away with it. Okay. 
So I kill all enemies and open up the door. Ooh, lots of these guys. So again, we can kind of cheese them just by shooting, shooting, shooting. One guy left. And then we get another bomb. Probably could have left that. So here's our boss, Dodongo. There's two ways you can kill Dodongo. You can either drop a bomb so that he walks into the smoke and then you can stab him. Or you can just feed him two bombs down his gullet and he's dead. Now there we did have to pick up that heart piece. So I wonder if we can do a four piece, a uh, four heart challenge. And we are done with the second level! Now we're gonna go get oh, even more OP. So after you defeat, uh, defeat the second level, uh, I'm pretty sure we can go get an upgraded sword. Oh. Bombs. I want to pick up the bombs. <laughs> there you go, another stopwatch. Now before we got the money inside that one staircase, you can't, unfortunately. Once you get it once, you can't get it again. I might be confusing it with later. I guess fast. I didn't hit him right away. I don't remember if there's something hidden here. See, my memory is serving me alright. <laughs> the secret is in the tree at the dead end. No, it's not. There's nothing inside that tree. Just a man trying to tell me that they're... He wants to play a money-making game. Now here we're going to play it safe and just use the stun technique. Stun, stab, stun, stab. The one-two punch. Bioshock fans there. One, two, punch! Master using it, and you can have this. Yeah, because I got there, I was like, what? <laughs> so now we have an upgraded sword. We have the white sword. I think it's also called the magic. I don't remember if the, the, the master sword in this game, the third sword you get, the upgrade, is either called the... I, th I don't think it's called the master sword. I think it's called the magic sword. Unless this is the magic sword. I don't know my Zelda lore <laughs> to a T. Yeah, snuck through that one. Now we're doing pretty well. We have 66. We have upgraded weapons. We have upgraded defense. Aw, oh, thought I'd get away from that one. Still need more rupees because there's a lot of stuff to buy. We need shields, we need uh, arrows, we need a, a candle. That's what we need to go get. Let's go get the candle. The candle is nice because you'll be able to 
burn down the bush. Like Moses, right? Burn in the bush. Pretty sure this is where you can get the camera for that. Buy something, will you? Thanks for the candle. Now the candle is kind of... The candle's a little weird, because you can only use the blue candle once on a screen. Once you get the red candle, or the orange candle, I don't remember. Red or orange, whatever you want to call it. That one you can use as many times on the screen as you want. But with a candle like we have... Oops. We can burn down these trees. I say tree, but it could be a bush. It's like the size of you, so I imagine it's more of a bush. Ten rupees. This is a shop. This is where we can get a shield for 90, so that's the cheap shield. And I swear there's something on this screen. I do not remember where it's at. I could be thinking of the second quest. But we're gonna try it just a few times. Again, I knew there was something there, I just didn't know what it was, or if it was going to be the first quest or the second quest, but... I have a fairly good memory, so... I like to, I like to think I do it. <laughs> Except when I'm really tired. Like now. I'm, I'm actually pretty tired right now. All those long days at work, right? They kind of wipe you out. But this is how we un unwind. This is how we un have a relax. Everyone's got their thing, and mine is games, so... We could start killing the Zora, I think. I think with the uh, upgraded weapon, you can kill the Zora a lot easier. We're already at 75. If we get five more rupees here, we can go get an arrow. Or do we want to just... just should we just get a larger shield? I think like that would be even more useful to us, because I don't think we need the arrows right away. Oh, see, like that would have helped if we had the large shield. And now we know where the cheap one is, so we only need eight more rupees. Got an eight bit lag. I love how, even though we're playing it like an emulated on uh, the Nintendo Switch, or Nintendo Wii, sorry. Uh, it still like lags out like an eight, like an old eight bit game. Yes, dude. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the east to get our last few rupees before we get our large shield. Because, in my experience, those other guys don't drop rupees very often. They drop a lot of bombs. And we got it. We have enough. We're just, like, spanking through all the rupee hunts. 
uh, there's only like, you know, what, two more things that we'll need to buy, and that's like one log of meat and... And then we got our arrows, and that's really all we need to buy, I think. As long as we don't lose our big shield to a like-like. I remember that enemy. That's one weird enemy. You, you don't forget the name of that one. <laughs> right? What are these called? Bats. What's this thing called? Like-like. Because -like. it looks like... like... Oh, like-like. <laughs> oh, I could have got that. That's okay. We're just going to go for it. We're going to go to the side here. Well, I think you can burn down this bush. Let's try it out. And I don't think it's going to give us much of a rupee that I don't remember right. It's probably something like 10. Or maybe it's one that will take money from us, and we're only at 2 rupees, so it won't matter. Oh, really? I was mistaken. Must be this one. Yeah, uh, so this is, yeah, payment for the door repair. It just takes us five rupees. It's a good thing we did that when we have no rupees. Now we're going into the third dungeon. Let's go back to our mind. I'm pretty sure we don't need arrows in here. I really hope we don't need arrows. These are like the giant jelly beans, and if we had a weaker sword, they would split into small jelly beans. But it's nice because with the strong sword, they drop a lot of money. They drop fives a lot. At least that's what I've experienced. See, it's already dropped another one. Okay, this is the first time. I don't remember if these are the ironclads or these are just called knights. But these are kind of the difficult enemy in the game. Kind of hard to predict sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna try and use up a bomb before that thing disappears. Oh, funny enough. Look at that. <laughs> Shortcut. We're just leaving that bomb there because it'll keep reappearing every time we come back in. So if we need to use more bombs. This, I remember this room. Because you can cheese these guys a little bit by hiding in here. Again, these guys are kind of tough, so they turn just at the right time. Because I have a sword that'll shoot, and I'm just abusing it. And you can't stun them, so. Ooh, more bombs. They really want me to use bombs. I'm pretty sure nothing will happen here, but. We had. We had. This room sucks. Wow. See how you like they turn. The eight bit lag. Kinda helping me a little bit dodge them. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa. 
More bombs. Don't know what the game's deal is with bombs right now. I mean, I'll take them, but... Jeez. So here is our next major item. We got ourselves a raft that kind of looks like three sausages. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself taking down that whole room without getting hit, so that's pretty good. I think this is the first time we've seen these skull things, these blue... Right now they look blue, at least to me they do, but... Uh, they have these little skull things. They're supposed to be like, kind of like fireballs, but they don't really do much to you other than just stun you, at least on this playthrough. Uh, there are some that are different colors. There's red ones, there's blue ones. Again, I don't need bombs, and I don't think I need to go through that door key, so I'm going to try to avoid it if I can. Hey, these guys came back. Well, I know that they have a bomb to drop, so... Can I push this? Always looking for secrets. I think we're gonna go. Did you get the? Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the waterfall? Yes, I did. I have it with me. Lots of keys. I'm surprised we don't have a map yet. We have to be getting a map here soon. Probably in this room. Called it. So again, like I was saying before, the temples kind of have different shapes, and in the top left there you can see that there is a, uh, a shape that has been used throughout history to mean different things, depending on the culture and which direction the arms are moving. Uh, obviously, World War II had a really terrible history of using that symbol. but I think the arms went the other direction. That's the only thing. So to me, these guys look like they are red. Red fireballs, but... I think it also depends on how the screen is catching the flash. So this guy... You can kill this guy just by stabbing him with your sword. He has four heads, and you need to stab each head a few times. Or, what I like to do is I drop a bomb, and if the bomb is well placed, and he runs over right in the middle of his chest, it'll kill him in one hit. Which I'm going to try to do. He, uh, you know, obviously moves, and if you destroy any of the heads, he starts moving even faster. So we're going to... Nope. Bad. I missed. Completely missed everything. No, I got one. See how this sucks? How fast he's going? Got him. There we go. Used up a lot of bombs, but... Yeah, if you place it just right, you'll just kill him. <laughs> just his main body cavity goes over and just kill all four heads at once. See, they dropped all those bombs for us, and then... All done.
So now we got the raft. So we can just go straight to level four. Or we can choose to go explore a little bit and pick up some stuff. I want to get our arrows first though, so we're gonna need, was it 60 or was it 80? I think 60 was the candle, 80 is the arrows. So we need a little bit more. Wow, can't seem to get that guy. Kill the Zora now, <laughs> just one hit. So it's like worth this having the upgraded sword is a huge advantage. Give me some rupees, yes. One more rupee. Nope, sorry. I'm thinking it's 60, it's 80. We need 80. So I'm gonna go and see if I can grab the uh there's a heart piece that we can go grab because we have the wrap now, or the sausage links. So we might as well just see if we can go grab that. Let's go down a step. Because we need money anyway, because we need the arrows. Pretty sure we need the arrows for level 4. And we'll just farm some cash as we go along. Look at that. We're already there. Hey. I think somewhere on one of these screens is another thing for us to uh, bomb, but I only have one bomb left, so we're gonna hold off and just remember to come back. Let's go see what's in this place. Will he have arrows for us? He does, 80. Perfect. So this we need a step ladder. Which is kind of odd. Why can't you use the raft to, to step over these few things? These little docks, the piers. But yeah, we can use the raft here. And there's another heart piece. Heart container. What are we up to? 8, 9, 10? We have six keys that <laughs> we're just carrying into the fourth, uh, into the fourth temple. This is nuts. Oh. Hey, it's not there. I don't think I can hit him there. Thanks.
let's track our way over to the fourth temple. All we have left to buy now is, I think it's just the meat. Uh, we just need to buy our, our turkey leg or whatever it is. I think there's a place where we can upgrade bombs too. Like how many we hold. I know that's definitely in the second the second quest. So it's always good to have extra cash in the game. do from here. Ooh. One more ruby. We're gonna go across and now we're in the fourth temple, level four. 